What's going on, all you beautiful people? It is Big E. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Right up there on the screen, he's got the after Christmas time blues. It's Mr. Lucius. I almost said Mr. Mountain because it's a gnome. <laughs> that is Mr. Lucius. This is our human warlock in gnome form. He has used the PX-238 might have been the 237 i don't know what model is out this year any old who this is uh we're in classic era this is a permadeath hardcore challenge i'll throw the roll uh the rolls i'll throw the rules up on the screen temporarily right over there pause the video if you so desire any old who Last episode, I think we logged out on the bird. We were coming from Westfall. I flew to Ironforge. Why don't you turn that up some? Crank it up. <laughs> I flew to Ironforge, and we are on our way to Lakhmadan. I think it'll be safer for us to quest in Lakhmadan as opposed to Red Ridge. Um, Red Ridge is, is a dangerous place. Anyway, on my way, what I was just going to do, I was going to run all the way there and start the episode over there. That way you guys don't have to watch me run. But I remember uh, Miss Rudra here. We are at uh, Amber Still Ranch. She has a little quest to kill. It might be an elite, and we're going to see if we can do this. Welcome. Welcome. Our pants are actually better. Well, I don't know. Some could argue here. If we take these pants, the reward, we gain 10 health. Not a lot. We lose one spirit. These probably aren't better for us because our current pants have 24 armor. Strength isn't our jam at all, really. But I'm going to accept this. It says, uh, we heard the cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning, sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. That dastardly beast known as Vagash or Vagash has been preying on our livelihood. With most of King Magni's army off in distant lands fighting with the Alliance, there is no one to keep Vagash at bay. Perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs and I will reward you. He lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned. He is deadly. What level is this? Oh, we can do this. It's green. Let's give it a shot. Is it an elite? It is an elite. That's because this is classic and not TBC. In TBC, I'm pretty sure they nerfed this. Not 100%. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing all right. Surely do. Christmas has come and gone. Looking forward, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day is coming up. What the hell am I doing? Oh, it's this way. I'm right. Yeah, we got to get... I'm missing a soul shard. All right, let's get a... Oh, no. Uh, okay. Um, this is kind of a problem because you can't get a soul shard off anything that doesn't yield experience. Right? Yeah, has to yield experience. Um, <laughs> I don't have one in the bag. I made a, we had one in the bag, but I used it to make a hellstone. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to summon our imp. This might not work. <laughs> we really need the void walker. Anyway, let's try it. Let's try it with the imp here. I don't think we can do this. Maybe. Maybe we can. It is green. And I do have a health pot. I have a health pot and we have a soul shard. 
And I don't believe these share. Interesting. We don't actually get experience for killing him, but we do get experience for the quest. This is still... This may as well be like a level 15, level 16. Um, Let's see here. Let's see if we can just burn him down. I'm going to put the imp first. I'm out of range. He's going to come right over. Oh. Oh. Okay. We all right here? Yeah, he just... He evaporated the imp. I'm watching my health. Okay, I'm gonna pop the health stone first. It does not share... Uh, the, the health pot. The, whatever the hell it is. I think we're okay here. I'm gonna drain some life. He hits pretty damn hard. Boy, that's annoying. Dude, pop that. Okay. Okay, that was terrible. I played that absolutely terrible. <laughs> I did play that terrible. The imp went down immediately. Um... I haven't actually played Lucius in a while. I, I had a lot of videos saved up, and uh, it's been, it's been like a week and a half since I played this. That's going to be my excuse to why I played so badly. He also had kind of a stun, uh, right there that messed oh, me up a little bit. I'm, I'm good, very well done. Uh, Varen will be so happy when he hears the good news. To kill Vagash. Vagash is no easy task. I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside King Magnig's men out on the Alliance front. I don't know. We're going to take these, though. Keep your feet on the ground. Is that him? Turek. I don't know who the other guy is. Let's see what this guy has. He's a dwarven weaponsmith. You got my attention. Good. I need it. Um. Yeah, man. I think we need the uh, we need the extra spirit. It helps regenerate. I don't know. I wish I knew how much, um, I don't, I don't, I wish I, I wish there was like a chart where you could see how armor relates to health when it's this close. Cause we do lose, I mean, if we put these pants on, we would gain 10 health. You know what? Just sell them. It's not that big of a deal. Just sell the damn pants. <laughs> Watch your back. All right. I didn't even see how much XP we got there. Anyway, let us, uh, we're going to continue on. We're going to run... Actually, we could go to the Golbalar Quarry. Actually, let's check in. I don't... We might be a little too high a level for that. For the quarry. For the trogs. Dun, dun, let's go see. Let us go see. Dun, 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 dun. Also, I need to kill something that yields XP so I can get a soul shard. So we can summon our Void Walker. Had we had the Void Walker out, that fight would have been no problem. Not a problem at all. Yeah, but if for anybody who doesn't know, you can't get a Soul Shard off something that is gray. It has to be green. It has to yield experience, and it says so right there. Yeah. The target has to die and has to yield experience. Can we even see these quests? No. Yeah. Okay, we're too high level. No worries. No worries, let's keep on trucking. Should I do a little cutscene? Should I do some fast forward magic here? What are we doing? Now we're 10 minutes in. I guess I could chit chat with everybody. Yeah. Anyway. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. I really do. Today, dun, 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 dun. let's see, when is this out? This is actually out. This is probably out on a Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, so people are probably back at work. I don't know. A lot of people, uh, as far as my time in offices and things like that, a lot of people take the week of Christmas and then the week after, because you also have like New Year's, you know, that's also a holiday as well. I think a lot of people save up their vacation time. 
but I'm not sure. And I'm sure some people are back at work this week. Anyway, if you had family visiting or maybe you went to visit family, I hope it was fun. All that good stuff. Uh, we could go up this way. There are some quests up here, but uh, we're, I don't think they're going to yield any experience. So we're just going to bypass it and we're going to go this way. I just got through, um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. I just got through recording. Will it be? A, yeah, it, it, it actually came out on Christmas Day. It came out two days ago, two or three days ago. Uh, call, a little uh, new thing I'm doing on the show called Let's Talk. <laughs> it is a talk show slash podcast. Just something goofy that I thought of. <laughs> Um, and my original plan, uh, well, so we had a special guest on the show. It's me interviewing a special guest. I'll probably do it, probably just going to do it once a month. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my original plan was always going to have two special guests, Chaz, the 80 guy, Chaz, the eighties guy. And then, uh, also funk master E. Yeah. But, um, Decided I would just have the one because it was too complicated to do it the other way. <laughs> anyway, it was a hell of a lot of fun. I actually I just got through doing it. No, well, I don't know. Hopefully somebody gets a laugh out of it. It was a little... I had to do a lot of editing uh, in the program I use, which is DaVinci Resolve. It didn't... I tried to add, I wrote everything out. I wrote a script out and can I get XP from this? Yes, I can. So I wrote a script out and then I basically recorded all of my parts as the interviewer in one take. And then, you know, Chaz the 80s guy came on, which is me. And I interviewed all of his stuff at once, and I tried to add pauses. We got a soul shard there. Yes. I tried to add pauses so it would work out, but it actually did not work out. <laughs> uh, let's go check in here with these with these people. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I hope somebody... No. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, in defense of the King's Land, we definitely know this quest. It rewards cheese which is what every adventurer wants. Yeah, gear is good, but cheese? <laughs> it does reward five silver. Okay, we need to protect the lock, Lucius. With so many of the king's soldiers fighting valiantly on remote battlefields, we've become overwhelmed on the home front. Trogs are tunneling up from every crevice. The trog infestation poses the largest threat to Ironforge. Really? The largest threat to Ironforge? Okay. Uh, these disgusting mutants must be destroyed. We need you, a brave adventurer, to venture forth and lay waste to the trog threat. He wants 10 uh, trogs and 10 scouts, and we get cheese good. and five silver. Yep. All right, I got to get rid of this. And I need demon armor up. Man, I didn't have demon armor up when I was fighting the, uh, uh, the elite back there. Because I'm good. Let's go check in with this guy. Who is this? This is Captain Ruff Rugglefuss. What can I do for Ruggle for, uh, Fuss, exactly. Warlock, you may or may not be aware of the trog threat looming over Dwarven lands. I am. With the Iron Forge Reserve called upon the Alliance Front, we are left with a fraction of the defense forces needed to keep these lands safe. My regiment is assigned to watch over the gate here, and we cannot leave our post for fear of invasion. But we need some pressure put on those damn trogs lurking in the hills. If you're up to the task, wage an assault on the tra uh, trogs, okay? He wants eight of their stone teeth. It's interesting. The they have stone teeth. A lot of people have, like, the gold tooth display. A lot of people have silver. A lot of people don't have either one of those. The trogs, how do they roll? Stone. That's right. Anyway, we're going to work on this. 
The reason, well, well one, we came here for two reasons. I believe we have a better chance of survival here, as I mentioned, in Lakhmadan. Also, we had a quest to come here. Right here it is. Uh, yeah, Storm Pike's delivery. We're going to go turn this in. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Was up early this morning. I have managed to get myself back on days, a normal schedule, which I desperately needed to do because I have started my new job. I actually started it um, last week, which is like three weeks by the time you guys see this. Hey. But yeah, I was still sort of on nights uh, working my daytime job. Anyway, I finally managed to get that straightened out. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I went up to the gym super early this morning. On the way back, treated myself to a little Sonic, the number 19 combo. Yeah. It's a brioche sandwich with either egg or sausage. I mean, with either bacon or sausage, egg and cheese. Comes with chater tots and or fries. Yeah. And a soda. It's a soda, okay? It's a soda. Um, Wait a minute. Why didn't I see... Oh, he must be up this way. Wait a minute. What am I doing here? Mountaineer Stormpike. Is he in the north? Uh, the Northern Guard Tower. Okay. Yeah, he's up this way. He is up this way. Oh, the quest is pointing me up there, actually. Anyway, I also... Wondering if I should mention this. I'll partially mention it. Uh, there is something special in the works for not only this channel, which is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel, but also a friend of mine. We have become good friends. Mr. Josh Shaw from Alpine Gaming. We are working on something together. And uh, da, 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 da. there's a chance... This thing we're working on will happen today at the same time this video is released, but it might be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I'm going to say on it. I'm going to leave you guys in suspense on the edge of your seats, throwing things at the screen. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Very excited about it. Dun, 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 here he is. Let's go check in. I think he will have... We can get a quest from him, I believe, to destroy some kobolds. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother. There's Gother Brum. Or Gother. Here he is. Who is this? Mountaineer Stormpike. What's on your mind? Well, if it isn't a young, bristling warlock, no doubt drawn here by talk of my exploits and field of battle. No time for stories now, for there are great important deeds that need doing. So if you're looking for glory, then luck shines on you today. Okay, this guy's really modest. You come all the way from Stormwind. I hear it's getting dicey down there in the human lands, with brigands and orcs running about. A perfect place for a warlock to prove their worth. There's your package. Ah, so Grimman finally finished my axe. Can't wait to try it against some trogs and kobolds. Many thanks, Lucius. It was a long distance to travel for this delivery. Here are some coins for your effort. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Also, guys, I am working. I no longer have the uh, the boom. I told you, you may or might not know, it broke. It just, the thing broke. Luckily, it broke while I was adjusting it, so it was in my hand and it didn't fall over like a crane. So I have got, get this, got something new. Just sits right on the desk. Actually works a lot better. I think it works a lot better. It's not, doesn't distract me. Hopefully my voice sounds okay and I can see the keyboard pretty much. Anyway, 
Filthy Paul's, the Silver Stream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the Miners League into a storage depot, but now kobolds have moved in, putting their Filthy Paul's on good dwarven tools. Uh, we'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the League wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before the Warriors tromp in there and break things. It'll be a tough delve. You might uh, want cohorts, cohorts at your side. He's asking me to get a group together here. Uh, four loads of Miners gear. Uh, that is, that's kind of an upgrade. It's the same armor. We grant, we gain 20 health. We do lose 20 spirits, but I do like the idea of, uh, extra health. We will accept it. Here there. Here there. Uh, this one. There's a dwarven armor smith whose work I admire greatly. His name is Fearin Longbeard and his skill is unmatched. I need a new shield and I must have one of his. This guy's got a brand new axe. Nobody wants a brand new shield. The problem is Furin is far to the south of the Dwarven District within Stormwind in human lands. I can't imagine why he would live there so far from Ironforge to Horbin. Uh, the humans must pay him a king's ransom to keep him there. So if you want to travel and don't mind making some money, uh, then will you send Furin my request for a shield? Yes, I will. We will eventually be going back to Stormwind. We'll do that for you. Anyway, let's look at this. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's actually this one. This is the miner's gear. I think we're going to work on this first. It is a yellow quest. I'm going to be damn careful. It is a cave. This actually might be a bad idea. Um, let's get him out. I'm going to be damn careful. These kobolds are pretty damn sneaky. They are hard to see. We could also go slay some trogs. Let's do this first, though. Oh, level 10. Wait a minute. What level are these trogs going to be? Are the kobolds? Looks like they're not going to be very high level. Yeah, I don't sometimes you'll you'll have a quest and it's yellow and uh do I want any of this? I'll take the meat. Yeah, the quest will be yellow and then you go to do it and you are 3 4 levels above whatever you're doing. I don't quite understand how that works. It's not with every quest, but it is with some quests. Somebody did not fare so well here. Let's go see. Let's see. Let's see what level these uh, kobolds are. Yeah, that is a gray mob. Maybe they are slightly higher level in here. Okay. Well, at least we get XP for them. We are still going to be careful, uh, for sure. Might as well pick up a few. Let's do it this way. We'll pick up a few soul shards. There's one. We don't need very many. Okay, well, I definitely feel better about this quest. Yeah, I don't know why it's yellow. I guess because it's in a cave. There should be a pat. Um, let's pull this guy over here. We also need to make up a soul shard stone deal. Healthstone, even. <laughs> Let's do that right now. Because these things are very, very handy. Um, And we're going to swap this. What do these restore? These are lesser ones. Let's get this guy. Doesn't raise These lesser or minor ones don't restore as much, but uh, something is better than nothing. Some linen cloth. So the miner's gear should just sort of be laying around. I think there's some right there. Yep. Let's get this guy out of the way, the caster. Anyway, so far so good. We, um, we've got two hardcore challenges going on right now. 
here in Classic Era, and we also have Mr. Cutter, who is in Soul of Iron. We're level 17 here, and I think Cutter is also level 17. We are doing fairly well. I mean, it's not that amazing, but uh, like I said, my short-term goal for both of these, for both of the Hardcore Challenges, is just to make up to level 20. We've not done that in a Hardcore Challenge yet, but I desperately want to. Let's grab another Soul Shard, why not? Sometimes there's some minor gear here, and there is. Yeah, I think we made a good choice coming over here to Lock Madon. Um, Red Ridge, you'd be dealing with things two levels above you minimum. Uh, but there are things are level there, but um, there are also things a much higher level than us. Just too risky. I don't mind yellow mobs at all, but that area, like I was saying before, it's, uh, it's a little rough. Lots of linen cloth here. There should be some more gear here. There's one there. There are two mobs here. Let's send him in. I'm going to watch my back here. There will be a pat coming back. And there's also, there should be another mob. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, we're good to go in here. All right, we just need one more piece. Oh, there's two mobs here. Uh, let's. We're gonna pull him over here. Did we pull both of those? I don't think we did. He resisted that. Okay, no worries. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. We should not pull the mobs on the top. If they do run out, we are uh, running out of the cave, though, I'll tell you that, because they will pull many other things on the way here. Yeah, we're fine. And this should be our last piece of gear. It is. All righty. Um, wait there, Jet Crash. It does seem a little bit close, but I think we're fine. There we go. That is that. All right, you may follow me again, sir. Let's see if we can get out of here. Not a super fast spawn rate in here. Yeah, so the ones out here are uh, obviously... Okay, I was going to say a lot lower level. I don't know how we pulled that. <laughs> but we did. Anyway, we'll go turn this quest in. Next episode. Uh, well, I'm not sure what we'll do. There are There's plenty of things for us to do here. We could collect animal parts. Actually, I don't know if... Yeah. I don't know if we're actually going to be doing the, um, what is it called? I can't remember what the recipe is, but we don't get credit for these. So I'm actually kind of glad because it's a pain in the ass. You have to get, it's like uh, snouts or livers. You have to get bear intestines and then spider ichor or something. It's kind of a grindy pain in the butt. So what we'll probably do is head back down here and kill some trogs. Uh, we can also go on the other side of the lake. There will be uh, much higher level trogs over there in the dig site. Probably go do that. Uh, what am I doing? Going the wrong way. We need to turn it in over here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're going to play it safe, but you know, I don't want to play it too safe. That, that was a little bit too safe, but... 
doesn't bother me in a cave if mobs are green. Nope. So we also have, I'm going to keep this quest. Uh, we're not going to mess with this until, uh, well, let me just, I'm thinking about doing this Dead Mines quest. You can see the level range here. We're right at the very bottom. If we get, if we make it to level 25 or 26, I am, I would consider doing this. I think it's really risky, but it does reward, look at this staff, it rewards a very, very nice staff for us. Very nice also, there are a few other items in that dungeon, especially the wand that drops from a Cookie. That would be very, very good for us. So I am going to consider doing that, even though this is a hardcore permadeath challenge. If we can get into a group with some high, you know, with people who are at the high end of that dungeon, uh, I think we'll be okay. Still kind of risky, but. I might be willing to take that risk. Talk to me. We shall see. Do you have that miner's gear, Lucius? Yes, I do. Did you see a lot of kobolds in there? I can't wait for the order to clean them out of the mine. I can't wait for it. Exactly. The thought of their grimy hands clawing around our mine makes my stomach rumble. We'll take this. Do I want to swap this out? I think I am. I know we lose a little bit of spirit. But that's what we have life tap for. We're gonna we'll gain uh, we'll gain twenty extra health here. Watch your back. Yeah, I'll watch my back. Yeah, let's chuck that on. Why not? Alrighty. Well, I guess we are gonna call it here. Not a very exciting kind of episode, but um, it is what it is. Uh, 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 let's sell that. Sell that. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell some stuff here. I guess I'll sell that. That is a quest item. Linen cloth we need. There's that. This will actually disappear, this health stone. Dun, dun. I keep forgetting we have this. Do I have this on the bar? Let me put this down here. Oh, it actually is. It is on the bar. Uh, I got to remember to use this. This, do this doesn't have a negative effect, and it doesn't get you drunk, at least if you drink one, and it gives you 30 extra health. I just keep forgetting to use it. So we're going to do this. Let's do that. That way, maybe when I throw my uh, demon skin up, I'll remember to use that. Anyway, I guess we're going to call it here. Like I said, not a very exciting episode, but we did get some stuff done. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I surely do. You guys take care. Juck Crash, Mr. Lucius, and myself will catch you guys in a future episode. Till we meet again. Till we meet again. Peace. <laughs>